Hi guys. In the past I've done quite a few what I call disassembly videos. Uh, some people call them teardown videos. It's where I take things apart to salvage the parts inside them. And people quite often ask, well what have I done with all the bits that I've salvaged? Well the truth is, they usually go in a big pile and they don't get used for quite a while. This is the power cord off of something that I've taken apart quite a while ago and haven't used it but I now need a short extension lead just a single one-way extension lead so I've actually bought this um, trailing lead adapter in Wilco for I think it's £1.25 or something like that and I'm just very simply going to put it on the end of here you have to be a bit careful when you're reusing electrical items. Make sure they're rated for what you want to use them for. This one's actually got a 13 amp fuse in it. So that's going to be plenty for what I'm going to be using it for. So all we need to do is take this one apart. It does tell us on here actually moulded into the bottom the colours yellow green is your earth brown is your live blue is your neutral and it tells you what length those wires need to be to go in here properly oh, that label's no good that stops it opening That's our contacts or connections. Again, it's molded in the bottom. It tells you that one's the earth. That one's the live. It's not very clear. And that one's the neutral. Just looking very carefully, I can't see the N, but that one's got the L. I don't know if the camera will pick it up even. But there's the diagram. And if you're in any doubt, the plug itself has got L for live, N for neutral, and an earth sign up there. So that's going to be that way round, so that's the live. So I need to trim this. Now that looks a little bit unhealthy where it was originally in the machine I've taken it out of. So I will actually cut that off. When you're trimming the wires, you can nibble round it with your cutters. You can use a sharp knife. What you have to be careful about is that you don't actually cut through the insulation of the wire when you're cutting the thicker insulation off the outside. So if you just do something like this and push in too hard, you can easily go right the way through. But if you just go slightly through, you'll see that I can crack the insulation or stretch it and split it without actually going all the way through to the insulation on the wire. Or use a proper tool for doing it.
So that's done very carefully so I haven't cut into the inner insulation. So I'm just matching that up to the diagram there. That's saying you need each of these to be 50 millimeters long. So I'll get a pen, a uh, ruler. Fifty millimeters is actually just about what I've done, leaving myself about a centimeter to strip off. Now, again, you can do the same thing. You can cut round it with that. You can cut round it with cutters. You can get a stripping tool, that's what this is, but this one should have an adjuster in there so that you don't go in too deeply. Because if you just do this, you can quite easily go right in and cut the wires that you're trying to strip. stripped. Now some people strip off twice as much as they need and fold it over. Some people strip it off and solder it to hold all the individual uh, wires together. So, live is brown. Let's loosen these a bit first. You'll notice I haven't bothered to take the retaining strap out yet. I'll do that last, so I've got plenty of room to move the wires around. And there we are. Now I was always taught that the green and yellow, which is the earth wire, has to be nice and flexible like that, loose, so that if things get pulled out, the earth wire is the last one to go. So that the, what, the earth is always continuous all the way through. Now many other countries don't use the earth, they just have live and neutral 
In fact, they called the live one the hot wire. But that needs to be loose in there, so it's all flexible. Make sure you've got these up tight. Cover on. There we go, a short extension lead. I should go and test that to make sure it works.